Hello bros, Cramorant strikes again. Someone requested that I play Cramorant and here it is. I hope you enjoy it and learn something. So this game I will show you how crazy is Cramorant is dive and hurricane combo. But first let me tell you my build. First build is the spoon and the next one is the energy amp for his unite move and the last one is the body barrier because you're relying on your unite move which is the body barrier is very good because to gain Cramorant a shield by performing his unite move and also the shield will really helps you when you are using the unite move of Cramorant of course when you're playing in lane make sure that when you are using the whirlpool to the wild pokemons you're standing at the right of the circle because if you stand at the circle you will gain the boosted attack of Cramorant which is very fast for clearing and also the damage of it is really insane which is good for defending your goal, setup and any other. So of course if you get the dive that's the right time you reach the power spike which is the combo is just using the hurricane and dive just, just like that. So of course when you are playing this Pokemon you need to be very agile, move around the map and do not be scared to enter the center because if you enter the center using the dive you just can dive out because the cooldown is really pretty insanely fast combined with the energy amp cooldown and your emblem which is a pretty good combination to Cameron's cooldown reduction emblem so of course when playing this pokemon is you need to properly place your unite move in the bush or play defensively against charizard so make sure that Charizard uses his Unite move first because it will cancelize your Unite move. So here I'm just using the Hurricane and Dive. Just look at that bros. The CC is instantly insane and the burst damage is pretty incredible I must say. So I'm pretty shocked about this because I did not find out about this combo. And as you've seen someone requested it and I tried to experiment sometimes and I'm not a fan of Cramorant but now I can say that it is really pretty strong against attackers and the CC is really incredible of this cop Pokemon. So here I made a huge mistake because I thought that he will not eject here so I used my dive eject to get the berry but sadly the enemy uses eject also and to get the berry and I died. So here if you are playing against Cramorant, you just need to distance yourself and put a hurricane and dive at the bush and I'm just diving right, diving, moving around. Do not be scared to use your dive. Just use your dive, spam it and just hit your opponent just like that. Because once you use the dive, you will gain a boosted attack which, is, which will connect to every Pokemon or enemy in this because it will scatter because it has a splash effects which is pretty good. AoE damage for Cameron. So here, as you've seen, I'm just moving around using my dive. I don't care about the cooldown of my dive. I'm just using dive for more mobility. And the opponent is really tanky, which is also pretty good against this combination. And that's why it is the main reason why Cameron is really pretty good attacker in the game. So here, I'm just using the dive here. Dive, dive, and hit. If I have the hurricane, I just put the hurricane and unite me. So as you've seen, the Unite move is really pretty good because once you use the Unite move, the damage is really pretty insane and this makes your opponent go backward which is like you protect the enemy which is you put a dome just like that. You put a dome to protect the your team so here sadly I died. And here as you've seen, the damage is really pretty insane. It almost one shot the Charizard there but sadly he got wished and defended by the defender. So here Hurricane died. Just like that bro, look at that damage. And the Unite move, Call of Duty Unite move. And as you've seen, they will run when you're using the Unite move. So that's a perfect, perfect defensively and offensively against Cramorant. Which is why I really love the Unite move of Cramorant because the damage is pretty huge. And also it is one of the craziest Unite move because it will scatter. And here I'm just playing against this guy because i want to use his unite move in order for them to lose the fight so here i'm just dodging it using my dive and bullying him and using my hurricane dive again as you've seen i'm going in but i don't care because i have dive out 
so you can just go dive in and dive out just like the pros as you've seen i want to practice unite move so here it's a perfect time he practice unite move so that's the time that i will go inside so he has no unite move because he's the carry in the game which is i'm pretty i'm pretty shocked that good draw is really big strong and so tanky bros so look at that so here i'm waiting for the charger to use unite move here and that's the time i go to the bush and use my unite move and he kept unite by the slow bro which is pretty good also but he's overkill so here um as you've seen i'm just going inside and using the dive hurricane combo so here i'm just using the dive again i'm spamming the dive i don't care so here i'm buying time to my team here because as you've seen the logic of many players is that when you're standing the goal they will hit, help your team i mean so that's why it is pretty effective against this game and that's the main reason why i'm i'm standing at the goal there i'm not helping the mid because i'm playing as a diversion in that part so here we just won the game just like that bro so i'm just using the hurricane and dive so that's just a combo hurricane and dive and dive 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 until you low hp the opponent so of course you don't need to go inside when you dive but sometimes you need to go inside against the attacker because you need to get closer against rage type right so if you are playing against or attackers you need to go melee mood sometimes because the range type pokemon is weak against melee so the dive will make sure that you will go inside so here i'm just using the dive in and dive out so just like that the gudra can't do anything for me because i just can dive out and the dull fox is here which is pretty 1v2 situation here just look at the damage your cane dive and i get my unite move and they can't do anything just like that look at the shield look at the damage so that's just how you play the cameraman bros i pretty sh recommend that that cameraman is really a good attacker in this meta and also it is pretty strong in the early game so thank you bros i hope you like and subscribe for more type of this contest and i hope we reach 20 likes again so thank you bros and stay hydrated as always